This is Cade. Today is her 623rd birthday. She wishes for a new pair of boots, a new hoof pick for her horse, Ted, and to take down this robber so she can have a blueberry scone with her afternoon tea. It was a frickin' candy bar! Stealing is stealing. It was her job to enforce good upon the likes of evil. And it's my job to enforce good upon the likes of evil. Evil my ass, lady! Thank you. I'm gonna be needing that back. What? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Six hundred years ago, Kate fought and slayed the Dragon of Dunbar. And in reward for her efforts, a great sorceress blessed Kate with immortality so she might reign as the people's guardian. For centuries, she lived for the thrill of honor, the tang of triumph. She was like the great heroes of old. Except, with all the dragons and fell creatures in hiding, the world did not need her, and fighting crime gave her a headache, as do the few people who still believed in her. Happy birthday! Oh, God. Any quotes for your special day? Sure, I quit. What? I'm done. Sending in my hero's resignation. Well, like a, like a two weeks notice. Something like that. But what, what about the Daily Cade? What, what about my readers? I'm sure they'll find someone else to stop, just like you will. Cade lives above this restaurant. Her landlord runs the joint. It serves new Mexican food, vegan and spicy. This is Tucker, age 24. He comes here every day for lunch, but he's not vegan. Here you go, Pat. I'm moving out. Thanks. You're up. You welcome. That's a nice balloon. Is it your birthday? Well, happy birthday then. What did you wish for? I'm Tucker, by the way. She wished for her boots, for her hoof pick, and her blueberry scone, but mostly she wished to get the sorceress to reverse this blessing, to be mortal. Mortar? Like, like for bricks? Tucker! Rich Fouquet, age 60, Tucker's godfather, boss, and inventor and premier user of Renew You Anti-Aging Cream. Tammy, age 34, Rich's secretary and... Oh, never mind. What are you doing? Oh, I thought she was one of those Elvish blow-up dolls. <laughs> Hi, Rich Fouquet. This is my boss. My dad and him worked on the Renew You formula back in the early days. Yeah, I'm Cade. I just met this guy. The Cade? The immortal grand protector? The people's guardian? But not anymore. Was she truly immortal? Well, hey, how about I take you out to lunch? No, thanks. I was just leaving. Oh, no, no. It's nothing, really. I was just about to buy the place. The whole restaurant? The whole building, actually. I want to turn it into a private roller rink. Come on, have a shake and a skate on me. Tammy, get us the table. It was nice to meet you both. Hey, you forgot your balloon! A real girl. And she talked to you. Theodonius, or Ted for short. Cade's blessed companion throughout the ages. So once the blessing is reversed, we'll live natural lives and die when we're good and old? Or we could find one last heroic feat and die with honor, like we planned. No? I could finally settle down and have a family. And you, you could get a real job. A real job? Could you imagine my resume? I could open a bakery. Yeah! And you could pony sit when the wife and I go out for sanity flicks? Ugh. Pony sit. I could do that. Rich, why are you calling me? No reason. Have you talked to her yet? Uh... You're watching her from behind a wall, aren't you? <laughs> no. It's a tree. Is she alone? She's got some sort of present. Some sort of pastry. Go talk to her. I can do it. I can do it. Oh wait, there's, there's two guys walking towards her. 
Spicy mustard. One of them's got a gun. But Scone. Tucker, <laughs> what's what's happening? He shot her. I've got to help her. Is she still alive? Tucker, T Tucker, is she still alive? <laughs> You forgot your balloon. Oh God, please don't sue me. I can't handle another lawsuit right now. You've been sued before? She had. A late night robbery had turned out not to be so much of a robbery and the couple took legal action. Okay, what do you want? What would keep you from pressing charges? No, it's it's my fault. I shouldn't have followed you here. Yeah, the, the jury would never go for that. Okay, what do you, do you want my sword? Do you want my bow? A hug, a smile, a kiss if the gods were could. But could he ask for what he wanted most? He'd never get another chance. Can I be your sidekick? 